of Famer, Shawn Michaels, makes a rare appearance on Monday night. Raw comes your way in minutes at the top of the hour on USA. Live from Seattle, this is Monday Night Raw. group known as the Shield. And the Shield will be together this coming Saturday. Streaming live on the WWE Network. It is Super Showdown from Melbourne, Australia. The Shield team up to take on Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, and Drew McIntyre. And before being in Triple H's corner this Saturday at WWE Super Showdown, HBK is in the house. Shawn Michaels makes his long-awaited return for the first time since being confronted by The Undertaker. Shawn Michaels live tonight on Raw. And that is not all. The Raw Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey, is here in Seattle to take on a woman who's left a bad taste in her mouth, the leader of the Riot Squad, Ruby Riot. All right, Dean, let's just get right into it. Last week, Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, and Drew McIntyre suggested that you're unhappy in the Shield, that you're being used, that they need you more than you need them. Any truth to these claims? Sorry, you asked me if there's any truth to the things those guys said last week. Sure. Yeah. There's a lot of truth to what those guys said. I mean, look at it. Seth and Roman are both champions. I have nothing. I was a champion all on my own before, and come to think of it, when I went down with an injury, when I lost a year of my life and career, Seth Rollins replaced me pretty quickly with Jason Jordan, now didn't he? That being said, have you ever thought about leaving the Shield? Sure. I think about a lot of things. I mean, maybe I already did. Maybe I already gave my notice. Maybe I already turned in my black uniform. Maybe I don't need these anymore. Because maybe these don't mean as much to me anymore as they used to. Hey, maybe on the way here I ran Roman's car off the road and he's not even going to be here tonight. There's a lot of possibilities. Dean, I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not, but people are asking a lot of questions about questions? certain things. What kind of questions are people asking? Are people asking questions like, why, after all this time, am I still in the shield? Am I gonna abandon them? Turn my back on them? Are people wondering, are they asking questions like, when is he finally just going to snap? When is he going to get fed up and snap because he's such a lunatic? Because y'all don't know what I'm going to do next. Maybe. Maybe people are thinking that I'm just waiting for the perfect time when nobody's looking, when nobody's watching, the perfect time for me to slip the knife right in their back. Questions like that, right? Uh, 
actually, I was going to say that people were asking a lot of questions about this moment. This is last week on Monday Night Raw. Dolph Drew and Braun trying to drive a wedge between the Shield, focusing specifically on Dean. After the tag team matchup, this was Ambrose's moment of truth. Earlier in the night, Braun, Drew, and Dolph offered Ambrose an alliance of sorts to walk away from the Shield, but Ambrose's true colors would shine through. What was going through your mind there? What are you looking for here? You want me to say something like, see, I, I'll bet you were thinking that I was thinking, why did I even come back to Raw in the first place? I could be on SmackDown right now doing my own thing. I could be somewhere else entirely because from the moment I've come back, I've done nothing but clean up my brother's messes. I bet you're wondering, was I thinking something like, I'm a little bit sick and a little bit tired and a little bit just plain over the shield. You can stop trying to understand, and you and the whole world can stop trying to analyze me, figure me out, get inside my head. Why don't you just judge me by my actions I did, what I always do? Step up, stand by my brothers, and stand by my family. The Shield is not a business. The Shield is not a brand. The Shield is a brotherhood. And we will always ride into battle together. Emphatic words from Dean Ambrose as we head towards Super Showdown this Saturday in Melbourne, Australia. The Shield together again. Hang on. Aaron Corbin. Wow, Dean. That was a really good story about brotherhood. But all I really hear is a bunch of whining. What's the matter? Something gnawing at that little lunatic brain of yours? So you like some kind of therapist now? On top of your other day job as the world's largest substitute teacher? Or are you just a little bit salty because the last few weeks you've been trying to put the shield down and big old constable, you just can't do it. All right, I'll admit you guys are tough and my team fell short. But you know what? The shield wasn't running around, tearing the place apart, causing chaos, and no cops were called. So I consider that a win. But enough about me, Dean. This is about your opportunity. You want to be judged by your actions? Well, let's see where you really stand. Tonight, I'm going to give you three options for a match. One, you face Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship. Two, you face Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. Or three, you go one-on-one -on -one with Braun Strowman. What's it gonna be, Dean? Your brothers or your career? If you think you're gonna come out here and dangle some shiny carrot in front of me and I'm just gonna sing and dance for you? Well, you don't know me very well. How about secret option number four? Me versus you right now. Oh, 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 
you almost got me. <laughs> it's not that easy. But I'll make the choice for you. It's going to be you versus Braun Strowman right now. That was quick. Ambrose can't like this decision. The monster among men, Braun Strowman, said to go one-on-one -on -one with Dean Ambrose. Baron Corbin must have had Braun Strowman standing by. A little bit of an unfair advantage, you gotta say. And was Corbin being honest, or was he just messing with Dean, giving him the other options like Rollins or Reigns? Well, what, whatever it was, guys, it doesn't matter at this point. I was gonna say, I don't think anything Baron Corbin has, uh, he gets to make his own decisions here. He's gotta roll with it. Strowman is ready. Ambrose is ready. Strowman versus Ambrose to kick off Raw live next. Monday Night Raw, it is Braun Strowman versus Dean Ambrose one-on-one. -on -one. This isn't the choice that I think that oh. Dean Ambrose wanted here tonight, but this is what he gets. Monday Night Raw is live in Seattle tonight, kicking this off with our first matchup of the evening. Still to come, the Hall of Famer, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels is here live, and Ronda Rousey, the Raw Women's Champions in action as well. Oh, and Strowman with a boot right to the face. The odds for Dean Ambrose are very, very bad in this situation. Having absolutely no time to prepare for Braun Strowman. I mean, we've seen people with solid game plans, so we thought step in the ring with Strowman and not make it out. Well, I don't think that Dean Ambrose usually has a game plan, but there's one thing we do know about him. He's tough as nails. Uh, Dean, uh, Dean Ambrose saying earlier tonight, emphatically stating that the Shield is a brotherhood. They will ride together into battle this Saturday. Streaming live on the WWE Network at Super Showdown when The Shield takes on this man, Braun Strowman, and Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Based on what we saw last week, you had to at least wonder. Dolph and Strowman and McIntyre all raised some very valid points, which Ambrose even admitted himself. You yeah, mentioned there's a lot of truth. The fact that Rollins and Reigns are both champions. The fact that when Dean was injured, Seth Rollins teamed together with Jason Jordan. Braun Strowman looking to twist Dean Ambrose oh. and clean off his shoulders. And again, driving Ambrose to the mat. Like having championships and accolades are impressive, but Dean Ambrose, I mean, he, he comes in here, he wants to put in a fight, and for him to go up against Braun Strowman, I think that this is going to be a tall order for him. Or anybody. Oh. Oh. Thunder is forearm. Look at the speed, the acceleration. Oh, and sandwiching Ambrose. 385 pounds should not move that fast. Renee, I gotta ask you, what, what was Dean's mindset after last week, after what we witnessed? We take one more look at the speed and crushing impact from Strowman. Did Dean dwell on the, the, the points that the trio made against him? Look, no matter what, Dean Ambrose is a very tough guy to read, even for me, so sometimes I just need to let him go, settle in, think about things, but I think what, from what we heard from him earlier tonight, oh. it seems like his actions spoke louder than his words. My God, Strowman once again cranking at the head. Look at the position of Dean's head. Oh, and then the clubbing blow again to the chest and right back to work on the head and neck area of Ambrose. Strowman is going to tear Dean's head right off his shoulder. Look at this. Dean just trying to pry at the fingers of the monster among men. The WWE Universe coming to life in support of Ambrose, but... Corey, you know as well as anyone, Dean Ambrose has made a career of not giving up, of not backing down. That's well, unfortunately one of the reasons Ambrose might have a short career. The guy doesn't know when to quit. Especially when you're in there with someone as dangerous as strong. Oh, and powerful just like that. I don't even think Braun Strowman likes doing this. A look of disdain on the face of Strowman. Oh, look in the eyes of it. And then humiliating Ambrose with a slap. Strowman declaring the shield's not going to help him. Look at this power. Nothing fancy Ooh. about it. Just raw strength from Strowman. Dean Ambrose, though, a very uh, proud man. Retaliating with a slap in the oh. zone. And then a major bail by Strowman. These are the situations that Dean Ambrose thrives in. This could be a, a huge return for him out of this. He's not thriving too much right now, Renee. Look at this. I think Dean might 
finally be realizing what he's up against. Sure, but we've seen him in these situations of just taking a brutal beating, and he seems to somehow crawl out of it. Strowman eager to give Ambrose everything he has in his arsenal. Dean might be crawling at the end of this match. Strowman looking to once more punish uh -oh. Ambrose. Ambrose, though. Ambrose looking to lock in a guillotine. And he's got it locked in a Strowman center of the ring. Braun with nowhere to go. One way to bring the monster down to size. Can Dean Ambrose somehow take out Strowman here? Ambrose cutting off the wind to Strowman. And the power's oh. out of it. No. The monster among men. Yeah, Dean hanging on for dear life. Smart went right to the back of the leg. Trying to bring the, bring the monster down to size. In the corner, Ambrose with the forearms lighting up Strowman. If Dean can somehow get Strowman down, this completely changes. You talk about game plans, and Dean Ooh. Ambrose rolls with him as he's going. But Strowman stopping Ambrose in his tracks. Can Dean climb back into this match? It continues live on Raw. Monday Night Raw, Braun Strowman in control of Dean Ambrose. Ambrose had a mini rally going before, he, before the commercial break. Strowman would snuff it out, however, and take over this match. Braun possesses truly game-changing power with one movement to totally oh. turn around a match. Ambrose trying to fight back into this. Dean Ambrose, tremendous resilience. Here comes the lunatic fringe. All across the bridge of Strowman's nose, but Braun could be looking for a power slam. Oh! Uh, Dean, though, digging down in his bag of tricks. His bag of tricks, let's call it what it was, Cole. Ambrose put his thumb in Strowman's eye. A win's a win, Graves. Oh, looking for dirty deeds! Strowman, though, countering. Yeah. And Strowman up over the top rope right to the floor. Can this be the opening that Ambrose needs? The best opportunity Dean has had since this match began. Strowman back up to the apron, heads back into the ring. Focusing on Ambrose, moves out of the way in the corner. Gotta wonder how Strowman's vision's working after the thumb in the eye. Oh, I don't think he saw that one coming. Ambrose, however, taking advantage here, driving Strowman back into the ropes, down to one knee. Uh-oh, Ambrose caught. Oh, oh. Going to the chest, like a, driving Ambrose to the mat. Like getting hit with an anvil. And every time Ambrose starts to rally, Braun Strowman is there. Whatever you do, you don't want to make Strowman angry. I mean, this was all doing of your guy, Baron Corbin. He set this whole thing up. So Baron Corbin gave Ambrose options. Uh oh, Strowman went for a the power slam again. Ambrose, dirty deeds! No dirty way. deeds! Out of nowhere! Can Ambrose capitalize? Can Ambrose take out Strowman? Dean trying to drag himself toward the cover, and he does. Grabs the leg, puts it on Strowman. Kick out a two by the monster among men. After everything that Dean Ambrose went, went through last week, that would have been a huge victory for him here tonight. I mean, that's got to be disheartening for Ambrose. The dirty deeds, the maneuver that's brought him so many victories. Strowman just survived. What does Ambrose have to do now? <laughs> Willing to do whatever it takes. Suicide die, driving Strowman to the barricade. Could this be Dean Ambrose night? Or, or did that do more damage to Ambrose than Strowman? Braun's still on his feet. Granted, he's being propped up against the wall. Strowman, there's the lunatic fringe. Strowman trying to keep it right. Shoulder first to the steps. Sound like a car crash. Could be Ambrose's opportunity. The official county now at seven. Ambrose breaks the count under the bottom rope. Now Strowman dragging himself back into the ring to stay away from Ambrose. Can't believe I'm seeing this. It's almost as if Strowman's in retreat. Might have been more than what Braun Strowman had in mind for tonight. Oh, and no, no question about uh -oh. that, though. Uh -oh. Oh, power slam to Ambrose. If Strowman can make the cover, this one is over for sure. Bone rattling power slam to Dean Ambrose. The human body can only endure so much. Yeah, but how smart is this? Ambrose rolling under the rope to stay out of harm's way. Definitely a wise decision by the ring veteran Ambrose. Buy himself some time, prevent himself from getting pinned. But that also allows Strowman 
to get back to his feet. Yeah, but Strowman's in a bad way too, Corey. Took him a long time to make it back to his feet, and that allowed Ambrose to roll out of the ring. But he is back on his feet, and that is bad news for Dean Ambrose. Yeah, especially if Braun Strowman can get a, uh, a full head of steam oh, no. here. Strowman stalking Ambrose. I feel a collision come on! Oh my God, driving Ambrose! Shoulder first from a monster! Assault is on. Strowman just imposing his will on the lunatic fringe. Six. Ambrose back in the ring. Strowman, though, stalking Dean Ambrose. Look at the look in his I, eyes. I think he's angry. <laughs> Ambrose up and down again with another power slam. That's it. But, oh, no, no, it's not it. Braun Strowman wants to make an example of Ambrose. Braun didn't even go for the cover. He wants to punish Dean. that Strowman have had over the years. Yeah, what's Reigns sticking his nose in their business for right now? It's the Shield. They have to. This is the Brotherhood. This is what they're about. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Strowman is simply trying to beat up Ambrose. Oh, a Superman punch. That'll cause a disqualification. But Roman Reigns is a double. Oh, oh yes, he is. Strowman. Big boot from Reigns. And here's the, oh. the other part of the shield. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns driving Strowman out of the ring. Rollins still landed on his feet. That's hard to believe. Ambrose's own words earlier tonight, the shield is a brotherhood. The winner of this match as a result of a disqualification, Braun Strowman. Ambrose is share the fight purse is going to be a little lighter than usual tonight thanks to his brothers in the shield. I'm sure he'll be happy to explain that to him. What do you want him to do, Corey? Ambrose is helpless. He's going to cast those checks, too. Braun Strowman had Ambrose down. And was going to inflict more punishment before Reigns and Rollins came to the ring. Oh, hang on. We got some more company. It's the Raw Tag Team Champions. Yeah, Strowman's running buddies. McIntyre no, and no, Ziggler. No, this isn't happening. This is not the Shield show. This is my show. And since you two can't let Dean fight his battles on his own, you're going to get your chance. Later tonight, it's Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. And Roman Reigns, you're going to face Dolph Ziggler right now! I like those matchups. Acting general manager Baron Corbin certainly keeping busy tonight, keeping the shield occupied. It's Reigns versus Ziggler live next. Up on demand. You all right, man? Fine. How was the fight out there, right? You okay? Fine. Like, I know it's fine. You were doing great. Hey, 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 hey. Relax, dude. Look, it's, it's about it's about the war, not the battle, okay? Roman came out when he had to. Yeah. Yeah, he sure did. Look, I just want to check and make sure you're okay. You know what's funny? I could be an Intercontinental Champion right now. What do you think Dean Ambrose meant by that, Renee? I don't know. I mean, I've never seen him that angry, for one, but it seemed like a threat. Meanwhile, uh, Ambrose and Rollins' brother Roman Reigns now put into this matchup tonight against Dolph Ziggler in a in a, it a championship yeah, match. Appears it's going to be for the Universal Championship. Oh. Wow. Talk about whoa, being whoa, a fighting whoa, champion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Roman, what I just tell you, 
I run the show. You don't get to decide when you put that title on the line. As a matter of fact, this match is non-title. Seth Rollins' match is non-title. And guess what, Roman? You don't get to put that title on the line until Rehad Saudi Arabia at the Crown Jewel when you face Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar in a triple threat match. <laughs> Referee, ring the bell. All right, Dolph Ziggler oh. wasted a little time going right after Roman Reigns. I don't see how that's good for business. Listen, I'm not having any title matches tonight, but he's the boss. I can appreciate what Baron Corbin's trying to do. He's simply trying to protect the pay-per-view event. He's trying to protect the investment of Crown Jewel. Yeah, Crown Jewel is November 2nd. At King Bond International Stadium in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. But meanwhile, this is Monday Night Raw. We're live in Seattle tonight, and this is an impromptu matchup set up by our acting general manager, Roman Reigns against Dolph Ziggler. Still to come tonight, the Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels is here live to talk about his friend Triple H's matchup Saturday against The Undertaker at WWE Super Showdown. Corey, the Raw Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey also in action. I can't oh. wait to see it. Treat we haven't seen in quite some time. Cover, Cover. by Ziggler on the champion and a kick out by Reigns. Ronda Rousey competing live on Monday Night Raw. You don't want to miss that, but right now the action hot and heavy. Dolph Ziggler doing his best to wear down Roman Reigns. Reigns, what do you think? You think there's a crack in the shield right now? No. I think it's safe to assume there's something going on there. Ask him. After all, look at Dolph now just grinding. Roman, you want to quit? No. Yeah. 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 Is it just Dean's temperament? I, I feel like you would know that. No, you know, I don't think he has a bad temperament. That's the first I've seen him lash out like that. Normally, he's very hard to read, but something's getting to him. Something's under his skin. He tests a man like that. Could this just be a case of something that's been simmering beneath the surface and finally boiling over? I feel like you're living in the shadows. It's a tough place to live. Well, Roman Reigns, uh, the Universal Champion, trying to make it back to a vertical base. Chin lock still applied by Ziggler as he takes Reigns right back down to the mat. Again, Ziggler, McIntyre, and Strowman will take on the Shield Ooh. Saturday at Super Showdown. Cover. Cover again by Ziggler and a kick out by Reigns. And a win here for Ziggler would be huge going into that six-man tag match. Dolph Ziggler got the jump on Roman Reigns from the get-go. It's always about who strikes first. Dolph Ziggler maintaining the momentum. Oh! And oh, oh, oh. post shoulder first goes Reigns. The quickness of the former world champion Dolph Ziggler. You have to wonder. I mean, you know Roman Reigns wasn't prepared for this particular matchup. Corbin just came out and made it at the moment. Dolph Ziggler might have known it. Might, Dolph might have had a heads up. This might have been a plan all day. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past Corbin for a second. And now Dolph Ziggler. Trying to get Reigns back into the ring as the official begins his count in this one-on-one -on -one match. Three! Oh. with a right! Oh. And Ziggler right to the knee, and Dolph Ziggler looking for a DDT. Oh, man! Roman outside the ring. Reigns is out. Meanwhile, the official is at a count of seven. A count of seven by our official. Reigns and Ziggler. Ziggler back into the ring to break the count. Well, Roman should be thankful that this is a non-title matchup, or we could be looking at a new Universal Champion. Can you uh, imagine that heading into WWE Super Showdown? Remember, this is not a title match. Baron Corbin made sure of that. Reigns wanted to put the title on the line. Corbin said, uh-uh, I make the rules around here. However, a victory for Ziggler would put him in the title hunt. Oh! oh famous or by Dolph it. for the win to pin the champion. Hook of the leg on Roman Reigns and a kick! This match continues. Uh, Dolph Ziggler right now is in control of the Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Dolph, very impressive tonight. Dolph using all of his body weight, trying to grind the big dog down, but Roman trying to make it back to a vertical base. Dolph hanging on for dear life. And Roman with a right hand creates separation. Reigns and Ziggler one-on-one, -on -one, live right now on Monday Night Raw, tonight where the Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels will be here. And Ziggler now into a sleeper on Roman Reigns. Right Ziggler in the center of the sleeper. ring. This is fantastic for Ziggler. The big dog starting to fade. Roman Reigns in trouble. Ziggler has the sleeper locked in. Dolph has his forearm right under the chin of Roman Reigns, right across the windpipe. 
Imagine what this victory would mean for Dolph Ziggler. He'd be in the hunt for a future Universal Championship opportunity. Oh, well, Roman Reigns is... He's in a bad place right now. Yeah, Reigns is in deep, deep trouble. Uh, Dolph Ziggler now. Dolph, Dolph now sticking his fingertips in the eyes of Roman Reigns. Continuing the pressure, continuing the punishment. Reigns, the champion, is fading. Dolph squeezing with everything he's got in his body. Roman trying to fight back, trying to somehow power out of this. An adrenaline burst from the Roman Reigns. Backs him into the corner. Breaks the grip of Ziggler momentarily. Yeah, but has the damage been done? Roman spent a significant amount of time in this sleeper hold, certainly feeling the effects. Yeah, Reigns trying to regroup. Back elbow caught Dolph. Dolph trying to keep the pressure on. Uh oh! And Roman Reigns with a couple of clotheslines fighting back into this match. Down goes Ziggler. Roman starting to feel it now. A great perseverance by Roman Reigns. You can see Roman starting to get his breath back and his mojo back as well. That fresh air in your lungs, time to fight. Oh, and Roman. Battering Ziggler in the corner. Ten big time clotheslines. Golf has no clue where he is. He's about to find out. What a boot by Reigns. Well, Roman Reigns is in his element right now. Roman regained his composure for the moment and complete control of the matchup. Roman's not thinking about Saudi Arabia right now. He's thinking about the here and the now and finishing off Dolph Ziggler. It has been a bruising, a punishing battle. He's got Dolph Ziggler right where he wants him. Then again, Roman could be thinking about this Saturday, the Super Showdown, the six-man tag team match. After the Superman punch, Ziggler from behind, rolls him up, grabs the back of the pass, and a kick out at two. Dolph nearly stole one there. Went for the super kick, Roman Reigns, with Dolph on his shoulders, Dolph the rake in the eyes, and the official didn't see it. Zigzag! Zigzag from Ziggler! Goodness, it doesn't get any closer than that without the bell ringing. You talk about the here and now, but yes, heading into WWE Super Showdown, momentum is gigantic for this in Australia. Another look at this, Roman looking for a Samoan drop. Dolph with the short cut to the eyes, and then bang! Zigzag finds its mark, and unbelievably, Roman Reigns would survive. And if you're Dolph Ziggler, you've raked the eyes, you've hit your finishing maneuver, the zigzag, and still, Roman Reigns breathes life. What do you do if you're Ziggler? Trust me, Dolph's got a lot left in his arsenal. I'm talking about a former world champion, current one half of the Raw Tag Team Champion. Dolph's been to the top of the mountain twice over. He knows how to get there again. And so he's mentally preparing himself and physically. Trying to psych himself up. A little homage to HPK, we'll see later in the night. Superman punch! Did Roman get off? He got Roman enough of get it. all of it. Hug of the leg on Ziggler. Ziggler kicks it too. See a look at disbelief on the face of the big dog. Frustration beginning to build in Roman Reigns. For both these superstars, this impromptu matchup. Roman now asking himself, what do I have to do to keep Dolph Ziggler down? The champion trying to figure out what to do next. But indeed, I think he knows. Roman's going to look to Old Faithful. Here it comes. The spear, Ziggler oh. over the top. Is it enough to beat the champ? And a kick out by Reigns. Yeah. Headbutt by Dolph Ziggler. Spear! What a spear by Reigns! Short impact. Dolph Ziggler just got torn in half with that spear. Here is your winner, the Universal Champion, Roman Reigns.
Dolph Ziggler certainly brought his A game tonight, truly testing the limits of the Universal Champion, but the big dog endured. Yeah, but on a Saturday in Australia, streaming live on the WWE Network, Roman Rollins and Ambrose, The Shield, will meet Ziggler, McIntyre, and Braun Strowman in a six-man tag match. See Roman Reigns looking for the spear. Dolph had it well scouted. If Ziggler had been able to get his ankles across Roman's shoulders, we might have had an end of the match right there. But the big dog pulls a spear from out of nowhere, flattening Dolph Ziggler and building momentum for the Shield before Australia. It's like Roman's got the hotter head here tonight. Hard-fought victory for the Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. A grueling battle for sure, but the big dog successfully defends his yard. Yeah. Well, there are Nikki and Bree and the Bella Twins getting set for Saturday in Australia in their six-woman tag match. And there is yes, Natalia. Yes, the Bellas and Natalia had their hands full in a very tough battle with the Riot Squad last oh, week. And there's the baddest woman on the planet, the Raw Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey. It looks to me like she means business. Well, she's in action next. Ronda Rousey takes on Ruby Riot one-on-one -on -one, live on Monday Night Raw.